Thank you. Uh, I met Jimmy uh, before I actually was uh, an elected official, and that was a long time ago. Uh, but in 96, when I first got elected, um, you know, I visited him, and I think they had their office over on Indian Road, right? Yeah. Right. Wilson knows. He was here. Nah, no one was here. So don't worry. Don't worry. And... Uh, Jimmy was a, a guy that was 73 years now, right? And that's because of people like Jimmy. And now you got a new crop. You know, Alex, where's Alex? Alex thinks he's Jimmy, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> and Brito thinks he's Jimmy, but he's not. <laughs> and Wilson, who retired, always thought he was Jimmy, but he's not. <laughs> and so, but Jimmy was a special guy, and he deeply cared about the kids in the neighborhood. We often had like long discussions because when I used to I used to give the league every year monies for the uniforms and stuff like that when I was in the state legislature, and that required like a lot of paperwork and stuff. And he was a nitpicker about that stuff, and so I would always speak to him, and so my my office would hold his hand and and put him through the process, right? So make sure that the dollars came in. But what I'm looking for. In memory of Jimmy, because this is something that he always wanted, right? Jimmy wanted lights for Diamond Six. Yes. He wanted that, right? First of all, it's not going to bother us. It's going to bother Riverdale. So, <laughs> no, it really shouldn't bother them. Uh, but, you know, the, the kids, our kids, they want to play a 7 o'clock game with the parents. That brings kind of, brings life to the park. It brings safety to the park because every time you have people there, this is safer. And Jimmy really wanted that, right? And so the councilwoman is working on that. They're funded. They're they funded. Just, we just gotta put them in. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's not that simple. I know a little bit about that. It's not that simple. Listen to this, because I remember Jimmy and, and Alex coming to my office to talk about it. The first thing. Young lady, yes. <laughs> yes, sir. is I believe that uh, something with uh, the actual diamond, right? The field was sort of like it's not as solid as it should be, right? It's a landfill, I think. Yeah. So it has to be a certain kind of light, and, and but it would allow the kids to play. Charlie Delfino knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Don't stand, don't stand away from us. <laughs> All right, and so uh, if we can get that done, the kids will be able to play evening games, families can go to the park, it could be safety, uh, safe there, and I think that uh, Jimmy will really be really happy if that gets done. So I look forward to that. It got delayed because of COVID, yeah. so now we're pushing for it to happen again, and uh, you know, I'm sure all of us will be behind it, and then you know we'll make uh, the lead even better and go for another hundred years, right? This is the oldest league, charter league, in the borough. Probably one of the biggest one, right? One of the most kids, right, Vico? How many kids? 600. Uh, that's a, some places, that's like the size of a town. <laughs> and you know, so anytime the kids come here, not just the parade, but anytime you, you bring them there, I have a great photo, right? of my, my grandson with, with the name Espaillat playing third base and he's holding the runner close to the back and the runner's name in the back is Levine. <laughs> I say, and then I send it to him, I said, keeping you close to the back. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here to support uh, Jimmy's legacy and thank you all for being part of this. Cooper, James Nolan Way. Yeah. Yeah.